Can you just try to do the whistle? Okay. Okay. See nothing. I don't even remember the first time we learned it, or the first time I learned it. I yeah. don't remember at all. I was always just like, who started this? Who started this? This is so cool. And nobody knew. I don't recall exactly how I learned it. I have no idea where the whistle came from. It's an Albuquerque myth. Albuquerque was packed full of queers. We were from all over the city. There were 10 high schools at the time, and yet we all knew each other. I remember at some point having some conversations about, oh my gosh, did you know that such and such was was gay, did you Yeah, know? So we were like, like yeah. <gasps> this person is not just my friend, this is my girlfriend. And I was like, yes. We would congregate at parties or at games. There were some after hour clubs that under 18 could go. I'll never forget the first time I went to one and 30 or 40 different people that I saw from other high schools were there. At the time, we used the whistle. Using the whistle was a little indication to whoever I was whistling to that I'm a lesbian too. It was part of our secret code. It was part of the language that we used in order to, gosh, I guess it was to protect ourselves. We were still in the closet. I mean, we still had to be careful on who kind of found out about us. We knew that there was a line, and don't go past that line. What would it have been like if I would have been born into a world where I could be exactly who I am and be celebrated for that? The priest told me pretty much not to worry about it, that this is a phase. Well, you know, here it is 40 years later and I'm still living out this phase. <laughs>